Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are capital gain distributions considered income? In capital gain distributions are payments to shareholders from a mutual fund's profits. These profits come from selling stocks or other assets within the fund. When mutual funds sell assets for more than their purchase price, they generate capital gains. These gains are then distributed to shareholders, typically on an annual basis. Then, the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, treats capital gain distributions as taxable events. Shareholders must report these distributions on their tax returns. The tax rate on capital gain distributions depends on the type of gain. Short-term capital gains are taxed at ordinary income tax rates. Long-term capital gains are taxed at lower rates. And then for tax purposes, capital gain distributions are included in a shareholder's gross income. This means they contribute to the total income reported on a tax return. Shareholders receive a Form 1099 DIV from the mutual fund, detailing the amount of capital gain distributions received. Then and it is important to differentiate between capital gain distributions and ordinary dividends. Ordinary dividends are payments from a corporation's earnings and profits, while capital gain distributions are from the sale of assets. N understanding how capital gain distributions are taxed can help in financial planning. Investors should consider their tax bracket and the potential impact on their overall tax liability. Don. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.